We're gonna be answering all your questions for this job site. I'm going to three job sites today. I posted on Instagram, ask me questions for this job site. And there are a lot of things. But first, before we jump in, I wanna show you my beautiful brand new ink I got. See, a lot of you go to tattoo shops and get tattoos. I just tap my trailers up. And I put this new and improved QR code. So whenever a customer's like, oh, let me have a business card. We don't have business cards. The QR code right there. Okay, this is 2023. No business cards allowed. Business cards are a waste of time. Scan a QR code. Move forward. Martin asked, he said, how long does it take to take a project like that from start to finish? We started this deal in February. Now, in California, I know a lot of you know that there was a lot of rain. So this particular job would have took eight to nine weeks with no rain. But because there is so much rain, this job has been here. We've been here probably 11, 12 weeks. Not the best offer, but it is what it is. There are a lot of moving parts to this. The very first part is demo, which is easy. The second is getting everything aligned with the pavers. After the pavers are done, then all the little fine detailed work like the barbecue. Let's go to the barbecue and answer another question about a barbecue that I got from our man, AJ. Do you pre-treat the Ipe wood? For this particular job, I do not because after I'm done with this, this and the floating bench that I will show you in a little bit. What's going to happen is the stainer is going to come out and he's going to do all three at the same time without me. And it's going to be directly him and the homeowner and it's going to be a beautiful job. I've learned my lesson on staining. I used to stain wood and I got my ass handed to me because one day in California there was dew in the morning and we stained it the night before. And what happened was the dew started dripping the stain all over my brand new pavers. And I was so disappointed. So I banned stain from my business. I will never do stain along with concrete countertops. I will never do concrete countertops at Applewood. Next question from our guy, National Hardscape Design. He said, why don't you install new pools? Well, given the fact that I'm in a pool, I would like to tell you my two cents on pools. Number one, pools are a whole different business. If you're going to be a landscape company and do pools, you have to have a very big operation. I don't want to have that many people doing so many different things because it's just too much of a liability for me. Now you might be like, T, you're copping out. You're missing out on a lot of opportunity. Listen, relax. I'm not that greedy. There's a lot of opportunity for landscaping and I just want to focus on my craft. I would rather have the pool guys do their deal and then me come in and do everything else. You don't see a pool guy building an outdoor kitchen. You don't see a pool guy building a deck. I don't even build decks. I sub this out. I hired a deck guy. You might be like, why'd you hire a deck guy? You, can't, you guys can't do decks? They can, but not as good as the deck guy the deck guy is very good and i personally know from experience from people that i have helped grow their business no 100% without a doubt. Once you start mixing pools and landscaping without a lot of experience, you tend to go bankrupt. No god. And I know too many people that went under because they started digging their hands in too many things and they started getting too cocky and they wanted everything for themselves. They want to be the big boss. I don't care. I already know I'm the big boss. I don't need to start doing pools. I'm patient. I take my time. Your girlfriend likes that. <laughs> Next. Our guy, Nathan, he said, how much does the average outdoor kitchen cost to build and furnish? The thing with this outdoor kitchen is that I charged $35,000 to build this outdoor kitchen. Plus, there was another $12,000 in granite fabrication. This this thing was 50 grand. Oh, I forgot. The homeowner went out and bought the granite. The granite was 10,000. So this thing was $60,000 and it is a beautiful creation. I can't wait to show you this after it's done, but jobs like this are not cheap. This is Ipe siding. Afterwards, the stainer is going to come in and he's going to stain everything. He's going to sand all the little plugs and the place is going to be beautiful. This is going to be an oasis. We got deco panels so we can match the vibe of Hawaii. We have very nice lights. I think I spent like five grand in lights. So all in all, you pay for what you get. Next question from uh, Coaster Outdoor Living, which is pretty funny. Is there target contractor pricing on Teco or is it the same for all contractors here? So for here, there is no Teco manufacturing. A lot of it's done by the East Coast. And by the time it gets here, even though you can buy Teco block in Pennsylvania or Virginia, wherever you live for six, $7, by the time it gets here with tax delivery, shipping is $15 a square foot for blue 60. This is how much we pay here, 15 bucks. Westmount is a little bit more. This stuff is also very pretty. This is blue 60 and Onyx black, but we charge for installation around $40 a square foot for blue 60. This one is more. This one's $50 a square foot because this one's a pain in the ass. And to be honest, this one probably should be $60 a square foot. I'm going to have to jack those numbers up just because, well, all numbers are made up anyway, so why not? And these are called deco panels. They're really nice. When I bought them, I thought they are going to be made out of steel, but they're not. They're made out of like this composite wood which is kind of a letdown but it still looks like steel but steel would have been badass they got this whole sustainable whatever yeah next job boys let's go
That's right. We're at the next job site and someone locked the door on me. How did you do that, by the way? Oh, okay. You can just turn. All right, very nice. We're at this job site currently and we did 2,500 square feet of pavers. There's a deck, pergola. I mean, this is gonna go down as one of the best jobs that Applewood has ever done. And it's so creative because of the designer and because we got full cooperation from the homeowner and he just said, send it. Love homeowners like that. So just see money. He said, do you design for the customer or do they pick options? Here's the thing. If you give customers too many options, you will have a disaster of a job. And if you do jobs like this without a design, you're gonna fail. It's gonna cost you way, 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 way too much money. But not only that, it's gonna cost you a lot of wasted time. So this particular job right here, I would not even touch. I would not even go to a customer's house to even view anything about the job unless it was done by a professional designer that had a plan. Now you'd be like, T, couldn't you just hand draw this and just bid it out? No. You cannot. This has to be done on the computer. It has to be to scale. It has to have everything in detail because if it doesn't, someone's gonna pay for it. And it's not gonna be me. Imagine doing this out of design. We fucked up. I convinced the homeowner to let us paint the fence black. Okay, this is a very dark gray. It's actually called carbon, onyx carbon. It is one of the prettiest things ever because it makes all the plants pop. So to answer the question, no. I don't negotiate options because I'm not a designer. A lot of you want to wear a bunch of hats in your company. You want to be the one that answers the phone. You want to be the project manager. You want to be the guy that drives the ditch witch, the caterpillar, the excavator, the truck driver. I don't want to do all that. I just want to do one thing. Designing, I'm not in it. This is Matt's design. Here's his Instagram. And if someone were to call Applewood, Applewood would do design. This is Taylor. Shout out to Taylor and Matt. Two of the goats in San Jose for designing. Next question from our man, MG Gardening SJ. By the way, can you guys pick better Instagram names? Like, what's up with that? He said, what's the process of constructing the pergola? Pretty simple. You need metal posts right here. And these posts go into the ground. And then you have a big, I think it's a four by 12 beam supporting this entire structure. And it sits on the posts. And then there are runner beam bonds and there's plywood on top. And then there's a two by 12 fascia that's running all around. These fascias are screwed in with these massive black screws that are currently covered in putty right now. Yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty legit. Afterwards, he's gonna paint this. He's gonna paint the fascia. And then the roof guy's gonna come and they're gonna put their waterproofing and roof on top, which already is there on this pergola right here. Painted black with a roof. All in all, looks very nice and very pretty. One of the things that you have to do with these pergolas is hire someone that does pergolas. A lot of you think that I do a lot of this stuff. I don't. I just know the right people to hire. You think we painted this fence? No. You think my guys are painting this pergola? No. It's that guy right there. <laughs> he's a professional painter, so he's gonna do all this and he's gonna do a nice clean job. I don't have to worry about spills. I don't have to worry about messes. No dripping, no running, none of that. Hire the right people. Don't try to do everything. Be a master of one, not a jack of all trades. Our man Trills33 will. He says, what kind of arborvitae trees are those? So if he's referring to those trees, those are actually called podocarpus. Those are not arborvitae trees. But if you're referring to these trees, which I think you are, we, we must go to the plan. You'd be like, T, don't you know all of your plants by heart? No, I don't. Right here, three B, P, J. There's three there and two there. So there's five. Those are junipers. Are they nice? Yes, they are. They're actually very nice. And if you don't know how to read plants like this, message me. I'm gonna send you a very nice gift. Well, it's actually free when you get in Go King. A lot of you don't sleep on Go King, bro. You think I'm like, I'm just trying to make money. I am trying to make money, of course, but I'm also trying to help you and pull all of you losers across the finish line because you're too cheap to bone up. Next question is from our guy named Alan G Man. He said, what was the most challenging part of this job? The most challenging part of this job was this. This entire thing. We had to take out 12 semi trucks of dirt. That's a lot of semi trucks. Each semi truck cost me $500 to haul away, but you also have to think about the labor it takes to scoop it and put it in the truck. So that's $12,000 in just dirt alone hauled away. Cause I charge a rack, rack a truck. And this wall was extremely difficult to do because of first you have to install a footing. This footing is a 18 by 16 or 18 by 18. Maybe it's a two by 18. I don't remember, but the footing you have to be, has to be installed first with rebar sticking up. Next, this wall is a 12 inch seating wall, retaining wall, 
drop down. And the other thing that was very tricky are these floating stairs. It looks like they're floating for a reason because you can only do this with concrete. It looks pretty good. The only problem is labor. Labor goes through the roof with this, the wall, the steps, the pavers, and the pergola. So there's many, many things involved in this. And if you're in Goking on June 30, you show up to San Jose, California, I'm gonna do a tour of this job site finished so you can see the entire thing done, wrapped up with lights, the pergola, the plants. It's gonna be awesome. And then next, our man Fernando Fit asked, I'm 16 and wanna start my construction company, 18. I don't know what that means. What do you recommend me doing? Number one, you have to start now. The way you start is really by simply making a decision. I'm gonna start. And you don't start complaining about, oh, I don't have a truck, I don't have a weed whacker, I don't have a mower, I don't have a ditch witch. And you don't start complaining about that. You just go and start. What's the first job you can do? First job that you're gonna do is a small job. Small job, mulch, gardening, planting. You go to every single house in your neighborhood and you knock on the door and you ask Mrs. Johnson if you can plant some plants. Next thing you do is you join GoKing. You pay a hundred bucks a month, you invest in your future, you invest in yourself, and you download all the data I have in my brain and put it in your brain. If you knew everything I knew as a 16 year old, your life would be so different. Would you agree? I know you'd agree, because I know I'm right. And I'm gonna teach you how to do jobs like this, but on a much smaller scale. I don't recommend you doing jobs like this your first, second, third, fourth, fifth year. This is something that is gonna be seven, eight, 10 years in the making because you're gonna learn so much doing those all little little tiny jobs and there's added perks like giveaways june 3rd i'm gonna do a giveaway three dump trailers sixty thousand dollars in dump trailers and we're gonna do job site tours we're gonna go all day friday all my job sites we're gonna go to the office meet the staff meet the team meet the employees and saturday we're gonna do the giveaway and saturday at 12 I'm gonna have my company picnic where you will attend and you can meet all the guys, you can eat all the workers, you can have a beer with them, you can talk Spanish with them. And I know some of you are gonna wanna come in there and be like, hey, you know, you know, Tigre bad guy, is it true, Tigre bad guy? You wanna come work for me? And then they're gonna be like, no, Tigre good guy. And then they're like, no, 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 Tigre bad guy, you come work for me. And here's the thing with that. If you can steal him, you can have him. I believe that with employees and especially girls. If you can steal the chick, you can have her. And all you gotta do is join Go King and show up. Show up to blow up. That's half the battle is just showing up. On to the next. Job site number three, more questions. These are very interesting. I actually like these. So no, no chill Chris says, what do you do on a daily basis? Routine, question mark. All estimates, question mark. Job walkthrough, question mark, etc. What I do on a daily basis is exactly what I do today with you. I'm not even capping. This is not a special day where it's just like, oh, it's YouTube. I got to film YouTube. So I got to flex on everybody. I'm telling you right now, I do this exactly every single day. And three days of the week, I have a annoying kid following me around and we make TikToks. And then the other day of the week, I have this other kid that's less annoying following me around making YouTube videos. And then Friday, I get to myself. I don't even have to show up to job sites anymore but I choose to because I want to make sure that everything is being done according to plan and there's minimal errors. There's still errors, it's construction, mistakes happen no matter what. But if I could just prevent them, that's why I show up to the job. And because I really, I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of you might not like landscaping. I really, really like landscaping. I love putting on my hat. I love going out and just cruising around, going to job sites, maybe stopping by, stopping by here, stopping by there, checking out here. What's this customer doing? What's this customer doing? Picking up a check, putting in my pocket, go to the next job site. I like that going to the office doing a bid going to close a deal i like that this was my dream when i first started and i saw this guy he had a really really big company the company's name was black diamond it's in san jose and i was month three into starting my business and i saw this dude come in in a car he was driving like some kind of subaru forester type of deal it's like well, whatever it's a whatever car and he stopped by a job site and he walked into the job site checked on how things were going and he walked back in his car and he drove away and I was like, that's the owner of project manager. I'm like, bro, I wanna do that one day. And that day is today, boys. That's exactly what I do every single day. I drive around job to job and I just make sure that progress is going well. I'm quality control, that's it. If you wanna learn how to be quality control, message me. I got something good for you. Next question from my guy, National Hardscape. He says, do you work with pool builders or are homeowners just buying pool shells now? So here's the thing about California. People here do not do fiberglass pools. I think fiberglass pools are probably some of the dumbest things you can ever install in your backyard. They look disgusting. They're gross. And for a small amount of money, more, maybe another fifteen, ten thousand dollars $10,000, you can get a gunite pool, which looks fantastic. Now I told you, I don't really do a lot of pools, but here's the deal. Why would anyone in their right mind wanna invest money into putting a 
fiberglass pool into their backyard. It makes no sense. I think fiberglass pools, like I told you, are probably one of the most disgusting things in the world. And they look so cheap. Gunite pools, shotcrete pools, they look badass. And it's meant to last. It's in the ground. Boom. For another 20%. If you can't afford another 20%, then don't buy a pool. Next is our guy named Justin. He said, what type of pavers are these? Those are also Tackle Block. Let's go show them. Let's go show them. These pavers, they're called Para. And it's from Tackle Block. They're big. They're like three feet, three feet by foot and a half, two feet, something like that. And they're very big to install. They're difficult to install. But the thing is, it goes fast. Now, because Taylor's such a creative designer, he decided to do this which we've never done before. We've never done a paver design inside a paver design. And you already noticed that these pavers are going sideways at an angle. And then now we have these pavers here. I think it's badass. One thing I tried to get the homeowner to do was install these lights that sparkle at night. They look like stars. She said it was too much money, which I agree, but still. I wish you would have said yes. If you enjoyed these videos, leave a thumbs up, comment. If you didn't enjoy them, also comment. If you don't like me, also comment. If uh, you don't think that I deserve what I have, also comment, because you might be right. But at the end of the day, this is my life. I took you behind the scenes. I answered all your questions. If you want to see more, join Goking and show up to San Jose, California. I'm giving away this trailer right here, actually. This is one of the trailers. One of the three trailers. You might be surprised. These are $20,000 trailers. I bought this trailer for... $20,000. Everything works on it perfectly. The tires are literally 75%. The thing is not broken. It's not a piece of shit. Like I use it every single day. Look inside coaster. There's garbage in it. This thing dumps. It will be working 100%. And when you do win it, there's going to be three people. I'm going to give you a title. Title in hand. These things are paid for. No funny business. You get to go home and you can call it your trailer. And finally, you can go to your girlfriend and say, you know what? Tigran actually really does know what he's talking about. He ain't bad. Next giveaway is this. 